morning. You're watching the Buck Stops here, and I'm Barkha Dad. On the program this evening, well, India is all set to get its 29th state. Telangana now seems to be set to be a reality after many false starts. The Congress has bitten the bullet. The UPA and the CWC have endorsed the decision unanimously to create a new state of Telangana. Remember, the majority of parties in the state of Andhra Pradesh as well, and most of the national parties as well, are likely to back the demand for a new state of Telangana. The big question, of course, was who would get the crown jewel. Well, Hyderabad will be Telangana's royal baby, but only after 10 years. Till then, the crown jewel will remain a shared jewel. It will be the common capital for both Andhra Pradesh and Telangana for the next 10 years. There are those politicians who are expressing concerns that this will lead to a domino effect. Today, Telangana, tomorrow, Vidarb, and the day after tomorrow, Harit Pradesh. Remember, Sharat Pawar and Ajit Singh have both put forth their demands for Vidarb and Harit Pradesh. Over the next 60 minutes, we'll be looking at the political implications of the Congress's Telangana gamble. Let's start now with our newsmaker, the man in charge of Andhra Pradesh, today explaining to the country the timing. Is this a political gamble or a quid pro quo to stop Jagan Reddy's juggernaut? Digvijay Singh speaking to me earlier. Digvijay Singh, how hard, how difficult was it for the Congress to take this decision? Obviously, Barkha, it was a very difficult decision because uh, it has been pending for a long time and the demand has been there for last 45, 50 years. So therefore, I think uh, this decision had to be taken one way or the other and the UPA government uh, has fulfilled its commitment, has fulfilled its uh, commitment made to the people of uh, Telangana and after the widest consultation possible, this decision was taken. Obviously, it's not an easy decision because uh, there are pros and cons for any decision that you take politically. But looking to the historical facts, looking to the history behind the uh, ask, uh, re request for a uh, state of Telangana, this decision was finally taken. Mr. Digvijay Singh, should we see this as a decision that will translate into the creation of Telangana or as a statement of intent? I ask this because you will remember that earlier too, you had then Home Minister Mr. Chidambaram announcing the decision to start the, uh, the process for the creation and then that was reneged on after there were widespread protests. Are we now seeing a statement of intent today or a commitment to the creation of Telangana and would you put a time frame on it? It's a commitment to the uh, formation of state of Telangana and the process will be initiated by the Home Ministry by writing a letter to the Assembly uh, uh, of Andhra Pradesh to consider the resolution on the creation of the state of uh, Telangana. Would you put a time frame on it? Yes. What is that time frame? The stipulated period required in a formation of a new state will be ad adhered to and there will be no extension. Well, that is about a, hun uh, a hundred odd days if I'm not wrong. So are you saying that within the next four months we will have the state of Telangana ready? We have to fulfill all constitutional uh, obligations and requirements. Then only we can sort of uh, issue the notification for a separate state of Telangana. Are you confident that uh, Parliament uh, will in fact uh, endorse this decision and are you worried that the Andhra Pradesh Assembly may not? It, it doesn't matter because the Andhra Pradesh Assembly resolution is not binding uh, on this uh, government of India. So therefore it doesn't really uh, make a difference. But as far as the parliament is concerned, uh, almost all political parties except for a few were opposed uh, to the formation of Telangana. So the passage of uh, the bill in the parliament would not be a problem. Let me ask you to talk a little bit about Hyderabad and the decision in a sense to, to keep it as a shared crown jewel and not just make it the royal baby of Telangana. But after 10 years, this will become the capital of Telangana. And before that, you may have parties like the TRS opposing sharing Hyderabad because they're on record saying that they will not accept this. How are you going to convince them? 
there is no reason because after all you 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 just can't allow the uh, the new state uh, uh, the, the 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 remaining part of the andhra pradesh to be left in the lurch after all they have to have a functional uh, capital they have to have a functional assembly and all related issues like the secretariat and other department uh, buildings so therefore there has to be a common uh, capital for at least till the next uh, capital uh, is formed but if the trs were to say this is not acceptable what would the congress do well trs uh, had repeatedly been saying that we are prepared to uh, accept all issues provided you give the state of telangana so now when the state of telangana has been given and a specific announcement for the uh, for hyderabad to be the state capital of telangana has been made they have no issues now would you say that the congress's decision to finally go ahead with telangana became necessitated because you had to stop a jagad reddy's juggernaut the fact of the matter is that the congress needed an election game plan and that is what has created uh, the, the 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 gumption as it were to finally take a decision barkha these decisions the historical decisions are not taken on political expediency then explain the timing not taken then explain the timing just before the elections no no it is not timing this has been under considerations in 1999 2004 2009 2010 2011 12 so finally uh, as you rightly put in, uh, in the very beginning we had to bite the bullet we have bitten the bullet but you are saying it has absolutely nothing to do with jagan reddy nothing to do at all we don't take such uh, national uh, decisions of bifurcating a state uh, on the basis of political expediency is this a prelude to an alliance or a merger with the trs repeatedly kcrg chandrasekhar rao sahab has uh, been stating that give us telangana and we will merge the party of trs with the congress party and i think uh, now that the state of telangana has been announced by the congress party the, we are awaiting his uh, reaction and his offer of merging trs with the congress party which we would certainly welcome and not just would you welcome it you would expect it because that is the quid pro quo for granting telangana no there is no such thing as quid pro quo as i told you earlier that these decisions are taken in the national interest not on political expediency in other words the congress has made a choice a political choice in andhra pradesh to go with the trs instead of going with jagan reddy you could have also brought jagan reddy back to the fold jagan reddy's issue is quite different and i think uh, it is he who has uh, created uh, floated another party so therefore i think uh, let us not mix uh, jagan's uh, ysr party with trs what impact do you see this happening uh, on the andhra pradesh congress and i ask this because as you know several of your members are bitterly opposed uh, to the creation of telangana including your chief minister many expect him to resign the chief whip of the congress in the andhra pradesh assembly today has compared the creation of telangana to swallowing poison are you now apprehensive that the andhra pradesh congress will split and the chief minister will resign to begin with as i told you earlier it's a difficult decision which we had to take and all efforts would be made to sort of uh, iron out the differences and we shall make every effort to see that the concerns and apprehensions of the people of sima andhra that is rail sima and andhra uh, andhra uh, coastal andhra are addressed to when we finally draft the bill for bifurcation of the state of andhra pradesh has your chief minister conveyed to you that he would like to resign to protest the creation of telangana the chief minister and the pcc president met uh, the prime minister and the congress president this evening at about 4:30 and we had detailed discussions and uh, uh, both my leaders congress president and prime minister has assured the chief minister and the pcc president that all concerns uh, which have been uh, uh, addressed by the uh, the people of uh, rail sima and andhra coastal andhra would be taken care of when we finally draft the bill but does that and mean you expect quite, him to stay uh, on satisfied they but sir do you think they, that they you expect satisfied. him to stay on do you they are quite satisfied let me finish yeah. let me finish yeah. they are quite 
they are quite satisfied and uh, we will uh, in the next week we shall call uh, the pradesh congress committee meetings and the clp meetings to uh, i would give them a hearing we will discuss uh, in depth and detail and make out a strategy for 2014 elections all right a last question to you the sri krishna commission which was uh, which was set up to look into what should happen to the vexed issue of telangana gave six options but uh, uh, some would say rather strangely decided uh, uh, to declare which was the best option and in their minds the best option was actually to keep the state united but create more regional autonomy one of the chapters of the sri krishna commission chapter 8 in fact was never even revealed to the public it related to national security questions that may arise out of the creation of telangana would you accept the criticism that there's been a lack of transparency see in what led to this decision and that it's essentially a political decision and electoral calculation as it were the uh, justice shri uh, shri krishna commission report has been in public domain for last two and a half years and it has been widely debated and discussed within the party and among the other parties so therefore it's wrong to say that we have ignored the recommendations of the shri krishna commission report they have uh, brought forward the pros and cons of every six of the options they have uh, they have uh, conveyed in their report they mentioned in their report and uh, in its wisdom the upa government has chosen uh, the option of having a separate state of telangana with hyderabad its capital but at the same time addressing the concerns of people of rail sima and coastal andhra so that all their concerns are addressed So whether or not the Andhra Pradesh Congress splits, whether or not uh, your ministers resign, both at the state or the centre, whether or not there are protests again in Andhra Pradesh, this time within the next four months, which is the constitutionally stipulated period, India will have its 29th state. How do you respond to criticism uh, uh, that this could lead to a domino effect? The Sharad Pawar will want Vidarb, Ajit Singh will want Harit Pradesh, and so on. I can assure you one thing: Telangana, Telangana would be a reality. And what about the other states? What about the demands for other states? Well, uh, we shall consider uh, all in its own merit. All right, Dick, we're just saying big decision by the Congress. Thank you so much.